Hello troopers, Lenny at the Crafting Trooper here. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. I love hump day. I don't know why, but I do. How's it going? I want to welcome my new subscribers and I'm going to welcome you by name as soon as I find the email. Oh, that's not the right button. There we go. Okay, so in the order that they joined or that I have notices, we have Cheryl Sneed, Brenda the Newbie Crocheter, Susan Lingenfelter, or maybe it's L Lingenfelter, sorry, Susan Lingenfelter, um, Crochet Chica, and EJ's daughter. Welcome to all of you. I will do my best to put links to their channels down in the description box. I'm so glad you found me, and I'm so grateful for Pris to Priscilla of Distinctive Crochet for the uh, wonderful video that she created of my gift that I sent her, and she received, and um, she received it Monday, and she uploaded the video yesterday. I was astounded by the video, and it was so much fun to watch her open and talk about the diamond painting kit that I sent her direct through my butler, Mr. Amazon. So, or Mr. Butler, Amazon. Anyway, so that's fun. Go check that out. I will put that link to in also in the description box below. Okay. So now back to my notes. So I keep on track. Let's see here. Where are we? Uh, oh, bear with me guys. So sorry. But I wanted to flick over to that and um, so I didn't miss anybody. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Electronics in me today, I'm telling you. Okay. So, and thank you to those of you who have been here and are sticking with me. I really appreciate you. Mr. Trooper was most happy to be back at work yesterday. He was definitely in his happy place because he was busy and just so thrilled to be back at work. His boss has placed a 300 pound limit on him and I told him 150. So Mr. Trooper has split the difference and said he promises not to lift any more than 200 pounds. Really? But not this week. He's, he has really taken it easy, so that's good. He's just, he thinks he's He-Man. He is my Dragon Slayer hero on a daily basis, but come on. That's a little, a little over the top there. All right, so are we ready for yesterday's answer? It is B, Scotland. It originates in an island or on an island in the north of Scotland. And it uses, Fair Isle uses many colors, but typically only two colors are used per row or every couple rows. So you've got a lot of yarn ends to um, weave in when you're done. Oh, pardon me, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Goodness. Hang on here a sec. Get a little sip in my cute little owl cup. Kylie picked out for me. Okay. All right. So that was yesterday's answer was B. Where does Fair Isle knitting originate from? Okay. So today I'm going to give you a bit of cross stitch embroidery tool information. I've had a few people ask me, oh, and I'll show you my whip at the same time. There we go. So I got leaves done yesterday. Oh, here, let's move this a little bit. Oh, I guess uh, there. I got leaves done. Isn't it pretty? I am just loving this one. I really love, I think these flowers are my most favorite out of all of them in this. You see this little cute thing up right up here? That is, people are calling it a pin, which, yeah, it's kind of a pin, except for it has no pin. It has magnets. So I'm going to show you the back. There you go. Yeah, you get to see the back of my embroidery or kind of cross stitch. So what this is, it's called a needle minder. And you see my needle right there on there. So what those do is they mind your needle. They keep your needle 
safe while you're not working on your project. And so it keeps it um, on the project and instead of in the couch or in your shirt and you forget about it when you get up to go cook dinner or something and maybe have that needle fall into the um, macaroni and cheese that you're making. Yeah, I don't know anybody that's ever had that happen. <laughs> yeah, no, I do. It happened to me once. Okay, I had to put Ari down. She did not want to make a cameo appearance today. Anyway, so they have a magnet on the back, as you saw that one, and then they have um, a separate magnet, and then there's a magnet on the back of the, the enameled cutie thing. And so you just attach that anywhere on your kind of cross stitch. You could also use it in needlepoint because I've used it in that. And you can also use it in embroidery. It, you know, if the needle is met, um, metal, you can use it for that. I have an alfalfa hair. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, well, it's not going to fold it. All right. So that is a bit of cross stitch tool information for you where I get mine most of mine come from caterpillar cross stitch I will link in my description box and um, she has a wonderful bundle deal three needle minders for 22 British pounds which is a really good deal hers are metal with enamel and they've got the strongest magnets that I have come across yet I love them they are worth the money that you invest in them because it is an investment I don't I can't remember how much one I don't remember how much they are singly I have purchased them singly but I've done a couple of bundles also I can't remember I'd have to look back anyway they're wonderful and if you when you order from her please 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 spend the extra little bit that it takes to get it tracked and insured I think it's like nine dollars and fifty cents or something like that but it's well worth it because that way once she ships it there's tracking and um, it it also ensures it so if it gets lost then it's replaceable so anyway it's worth it to me I always whenever I order something from her I always use the tracked international tracking and signature or something like that you'll see it Okay, so that is that. Um, I did not get to the video that I wanted to yesterday after work because some other things took precedence. So I'm not going to announce my after after work plans because they seem to get blasted with a bomb usually. So I'm going to just come home and do something. I'm not even going to say what it is, but I'm going to think what it is. Because it seems like somewhere in the universe it says, oh, look what she wants to do. Pew! Let's just blow that out of the water. Yeah, no. No, no. So, I'm not going to jinx it. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, Happy Meal arrived yesterday. And I, I took it out of the package. But look at how she packaged this up. I just love the extra touch that some eBay and other sellers use. So we're going to open this up. I thought it was so sweet. This is a brand new kit. But it's a vintage kit. Because that's what this gal deals in. Is vintage items. Oh, I get, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was originally bought at Pomida. Wow. Oh my goodness. They haven't been in business in years. I loved Pomida. They were mostly in the Midwest, like uh, Minnesota. And I loved that store. It was bought at Pomida for $4.99. <laughs> oh my goodness. And this is um, Gallery of Stitches Candle Wicking. I love candle wicking and it is really difficult to find candle wicking kits it is I just love it it's brand new in package and it 
contains stamped 100% cotton unbleached muslin fabric, 100% cotton candle wicking thread, six strand, 100% cotton embroidery floss, lace for ruffle, needles, and easy to follow instructions with directions and alphabet chart for monogramming. Everything required to complete this pillow is included except the pillow form. Oh my goodness, I'm going longer than normal, but I want to show you the, and that's pretty well color, color true there. So I'm excited to get to start on that. It's going to be a little bit, but it's going in the next up basket. Okay. I think that is everything for today, you guys. Yep, it is. So I want you all to have a great day. Remember to be kind, be bold, and be amazing. We'll talk soon. Love you. See you later. Bye-bye.